This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s, mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. The monogram reads P-H-F. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. is tied to the statue in my way. This might represent one of the Lords of Shabalba. A depiction of Apuk, god of death and ruler of Mitnel, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing Apuk enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. Amazing, is this a Pocketop court? And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. 
The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnel, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnel's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnel's guilt, and he was quickly executed. Need to raise that ladder somehow. Need to find a way to lift the ladder. Twenty third of May. Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Cuiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Rally looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. Pull the counterweight down. Oh, that's a bit of progress. to lower the counterweight on the monument's right. There, hope this ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro, 
rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Careful, careful. Wonder where this will lead. May Agu be the one to chart the path from this life to the next, so that we may all travel safely. Thirtieth of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, leaving the assembly. This polished piece of silver is lined with gold and inlaid with turquoise gems. It appears to be a decorative mirror of sorts. Filigree, depicting Eshel, is carved onto its backside. My dear Nina, once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and... August 9th. I am leaving this page here to assuage any mystery should the rest of this quest prove as fatal.
This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. This is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. In the early 19th century, this was used to measure the angle between an astronomical object and the horizon for the purposes of celestial navigation. Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. 
Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Sixth of June. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the first of August. Tonight, sleep escapes us. The jungle is angry and the moon is uncooperative. Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. Hmm, there's a little more. Traps ahead. No one's been through here in years. May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of headbinding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull.
I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled one. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within the eternal struggle. Gotcha! This depicts the Incan god Kone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kone was in charge of the wind and the rain, although in some legends he was only...
The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer... These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Ukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven McCall. Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember THE Timothy Walker as the man who finally- Hey! <laughs> 
Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. this to reach the crowd. <laughs> they must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. should hold. Must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. Here, under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death, lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. Must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. There must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly. 